so you're talking about first let's go into this position which is telos and just given a quick opinion um let's look at where it's ranked so 397th not bad you're seeing it at a 50 million dollar market cap 1.4 million dollars in volume probably would like to see a little bit more in volume but still seeing millions of dollars in volume <clears throat> is fine um you're seeing it down 22 percent. so that means that we have seen it uh higher than that point this is not the highest point <clears throat> so you, know, you do have potential for a little bit more volume if we look through historical data for that volume, right, we're going to see that we've been hovering around the one to two million for a while now. It hasn't been something that's that uh, you would normally see up in the tens or twenties uh, of millions of dollars um, within the same level of the actual market cap. Um, so you're not really seeing a crazy amount of money that's going into it. Now you do have a decent amount of trading pairs, uh, 22 trading pairs at which you have a few uh, larger exchanges uh, associated with it, right? You can say gate.io, HG, uh, KuCoin. So it's not something that you have a, a lack of, of people to invest into the position or investors into the position. So that's not really to say why people, why you're not seeing a crazy amount of investing that's going into it. Now, if we look at how uh, long this has been out there based on all history, um, we see this has been out here in 2019 and obviously 2021, we saw this pick up. Um, even up to 2022, <clears throat> we saw this pick up a little bit. Now I'm trying to understand if you're seeing this pick up in price, and then what's going to happen to the market cap there but it's good to see that the the price is was up to a dollar 40 at one point um which was a a 300 million dollar market cap so showing that it does have strength up in those areas is very very important um which it does show that and it had doesn't have any type of major dilution with it now you do have 270 million coins and seeing million means that it has a lot of potential um especially um, you know, when you understand there are coins out there with, or coins or tokens out there with billions uh, of um, tokens or uh, coins. And seeing something like this is kind of refreshing, right? It's it's something where you're like, all right, it has less than a billion. I'm ready for it. Max supply of 355 million. You know that if you can see um, massive adoption of this, um, whatever the use case actually is, and see a lot more volume that flows into it this could be worth so much more so the potential is a little bit higher when it comes to the investment side of things when it comes to just uh the gains or losses to a uh, side of a play uh so it, look, it looks interesting it looks like something that you could make some money off of even you know in the short term it looks like something you could make some money off of as well as understand what the max level of potential uh this could be so Let's look into the project here to understand uh, how many holders it has. So it only has 1,846 holders, which is not a lot. You would expect a little bit more, um, you know, from a play like that, um, especially being, you know, worth in, you know, the millions, multiple millions of dollars. Like there's more holders in, in Krill coin than this. And, you know, you have less supply over there um, and you have a lesser market cap actually. So it's crazy to see that you have less holders that are probably holding a little bit more um, within the position. So uh, if you look at this, you're seeing somebody that's holding about 9.9 .9 million, and that's not a contract address. It's just 9. Point, or sorry, nine, not 9.9 .9 million, 9.9 uh, .9 or about 10% of the overall supply. Don't know what that is. And you have 7%, you have 6%, 5%, 5%. So there's definitely some bigger wallets within this position that would be more of a red flag for me. I don't like seeing this many, um, you know, wallets holding over 5%. That's not something anybody likes to see. Now, not to say that this is a scam or anything, um, but you definitely have people that can move this, right? If they look to, uh, if this gets to a level of, you know, millions of dollars, they may end up moving their position fairly quickly and if they are moving that position fairly quickly um it's not something that's gonna um you know bode well for a lot of the new investors that get into the play 
So that's why I never like this because you're literally looking at 17% in the top two wallets. Um, then you go down here, it's over 20%, 25, 30, 40, uh, or 35, 40, 50, um, right here. You're looking at a very high percentage within the top 12 wallets within the position. And that makes sense as you are, you do only have 1,800 holders. So that's something that sort of bothers me. While everything else looks like it's promising, you get to the holders and the amount that they're holding and it's it's kind of a, a red flag now again it's not to say that this is going to be a rug pull or anything because if it was it would have been that already but you would see a lot of people take profit at certain levels as it does get there if that makes sense